Crony Geeks, Majin Vegeta Brent here, returning with more Final Fantasy X. Today we'll be taking on the Jose Temple. So let's head on in. Get this party started. Uh, they're still there. Someone trying to head up. Hey, you. Me? You are Yuna's guardian, no? One of them. Loroda's heard a curious rumor. I thought you should know. I heard it from those crusaders. Seems that summoners have been going out on pilgrimage and just disappearing. It could just be the fiends got them, but not so many so quickly. I wonder how many summoners have to go missing before he starts saying something about it. More, but watch your back. Ain't much future for a guardian without a summoner, eh? Basically hired arm at that point. What? What? What you all talking about? We're talking about doing your job as a guardian. <laughs> hey, I'm doing good. Right, big brother? I have to say, he's like a really badass, like, eight-year-old. Please be careful. Will do. Multicultural family for the win. Passe! Why are you oh, yelling? What? We're leaving! We're standing right five there. feet from each other. Really? See ya! Use your strong voice. Don't need to yell. The cloister right. of trials lies within. Are you prepared? Might you hesitate? Of course I'm prepared. In we go. My first time as an actual guardian. Not breaking in. All right, guardians, at attention. Put you in charge. All right, let's do it. Hopefully, we don't have this pep talk more often. Uh, take the Jose sphere from the left one. Put that in the center. Oh, okay, put that on the right. There's two left and right. It's not really a center, so we'll grab the one on the right. We'll put that one on the left, then we'll just crisscross. The door will open at that point. We activated the bottom center. Uh, what we're going to do next... Let's grab this left sphere, here. We're gonna put you right here. I'm gonna grab you. Put you right here. Got that little spark there. I'm gonna push the pedestal right on over. Right to this point. Ta da! Boom! You just super powered that sphere. Run around this side. Grab the new powered sphere. Open up the door. All you needed was a little power boost. Good to go. Grab this Jose sphere. Alright, we're up. Put you on the left side. Take the one on the right hand side. Right here. You're gonna push this guy. You could also hit reset if you just want to take it back to the center and don't waste the time for pushing. I just decided I would push. Push it back to the center. And then we're gonna push you all the way into the gap. Let the power of magnetism do its thing. Ta-da! You're gonna go to your edge here. Once it lets him control, press X. Boop! Jumps you all the way forward. Run up to this. Press X on it again. And you have now activated the center eye, which otherwise you'd be previously unable to. Then run back. Hit the reset switch. Grab the superpower sphere. You can put it in any slot at this point, don't really matter. I'm gonna take this one, put it right there. Activates the round portion of the eye. <coughs> the left and right part of the wings for the Jose symbol are the first two sphere slots you see when you come on in, so run it on back. Grab this guy. Nailed it. 
I'm gonna run up here. Grab the other one and go run it back. The spheres are a little difficult. Some well, the pedestals are sometimes difficult to work with. The spheres are pretty self-explanatory. Like this, it's gonna light up, summon your pedestal down, you have a walkway. Notice the flashing in the background. We're gonna run over to that first before you head on up. On your left, press this. Door opens, bam! You have your destruction sphere. Grab that bad boy. Head on up. And we've got all five of these. All you gotta do is run up to and press X. Then it'll open up our way to the Chamber of the Fifth. If I could figure out how to run there, that would be fantastic. Your new little thing appears, door pops open, you can run up there if you don't want the bonus, but I would highly recommend you get that bonus. Miss that, it goes in there. Ta-da! You got a magic sphere, head on up. You can talk Stop to everybody. Stop around. Be calm and wait. We wait here. You should Ooh. try to settle down. Yuna will be blamed if anything happens. Yeah, always be responsible. She prays. She goes in. Kamari well, guards the door. Well, you again. And this chick. Still travel with quite a crowd, I say. She's not even listening to you. She's inside. What is it, Bartello? You know this riffraff? Riff raff. You are. Are it, no. What of it? Can I shake your hand? Ta da! Arin. Proper respect. No. Sir Arin. I'm like a knight. You're the reason I became a guardian. And lived in the gym, apparently. <laughs> Arin loves the compliment. Thank you, sir. This means so much to me. Calling the personal guardian the Lord Braska Riffraff? Give it to him, Walker. And you call yourself a summoner? Lulu throwing hands. Yeesh. Feel the tension. Bartello, enough. Get back here. Hang in there, buddy. Eh? You gotta survive the crazy ones. I swear. I'll never wash this hand again. Poor hygiene. Please touch me with that hand and I'll remove it. And that sounds dirty. You should try to settle down. Yeah, same speech. Big spot. Shut up. Wait. I liked it better when you were quiet. Quite the show, yeah? Not so good on the heart, though. Nah, shows nobody really cares or respects anybody. Stop pacing around. Be calm and wait. Try and leave. She pops on out. Great timing on that. Just in, out, done. You owe much to your father. Really? All these guardians. And Sir Oren, too? Vampire teeth. And I hear Maester Seymour is quite taken with you. The world must look different when you're the daughter of Lord Braska. Put some pants on. This has nothing to do with my father. I am traveling on my own as a full fledged summoner. Oh, is that so? Get him. Um, then try standing on your own two legs for once. Got a slight point there. Your guardians won't be able to protect you when the time comes. Mm hmm. Yeah, you ready to throw hands? Now that everyone gets a good night's sleep, you get Ixion. Da, 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 da. Better than us. Now that you got your good night's sleep, you can go back inside. Take that treasure chest that we could not get earlier. 
which is a nice upgrade for Waka. Um, Orin gets a Serene Bracer, he gets more HP. Very nice. Hit on outside. No matter how dark the night, morning always comes. Time keeps and on turning. Journey begins anew. The journey never stops. We're leaving once Yuna gets here. Uh, what do you gotta say? Donna has left. Isaru too. They're running a tighter schedule. Orin. Get ready for the journey ahead. If you try and run past Kamara, he'll stop you and just keep saying, hey, you gotta wait for Yuna. And I think it's Waka that'll stop you. So what you have to do is you have to run back inside. Gata has made it inside. I'm going back to Besaid. With Luzu gone. Yeah. yeah. It'd be hard fighting alone, wouldn't it? Most of the other Crusaders have already left. I would too. I'll go soon. Yeah, head home. Uh, let him pay his respects and talk to him again. I heard you're leaving too. Good luck. I hope we meet again someday. You can tell how his whole confidence has been rattled, but after everything that he went through in the last 24 hours, I'd be a little shook, to say the least. She was working until dawn, healing the wounded, sending the fallen. Get up, lazy bum. Okay. I guess I'll just let her sleep for now then. <sighs> Notice how she hears your voice and decides to get up. Ah. Morning. Yo, get up. What? Morning? We got places to be. Don't worry. But it's morning. <sighs> I'm so sorry. You should be. Uh, I'll get ready right away. Just a moment. Uh, oh, oh. Don't worry. It's okay. You're being polite for once, but you've got things to do. Try and run from here. <sighs> burst right on out. Yo, sleepy head. Sorry, I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. Goes right to Orin to really, apologize. There's no rush here. Your hair. <laughs> A summoner with bad hair. What's the world coming to? You could have woken me up. <laughs> uh, we called to you, but with all that snoring. <laughs> Shots fired. Mm, what is it today? Everyone's picking on me. Can you blame them? <laughs> <laughs> Orin? Oh, you too, Sir Orin? Once Lady Yuna fixes her hair, we leave. Tell him like it is. <laughs> <laughs> I hadn't really laughed like that in a long time. It was only later that I realized. The only one really laughing then was me. Laughing must have been the only thing keeping them going. Laughter keeps everybody going, man. Um, everyone leaves, uh, more or less. What you're going to see happen is you're going to talk to Captain Lucille. They're going to go try and go to the Moonflow, which we will go to as well. However, I'm going to skip recording that particular section as there are no major events that transpire. Literally, you run into Belgamine. You do another Aeon battle, like the one we saw in Luka. Uh, you run into Genke and Bidron, who tell you the same thing. Moroda told you that summoners are getting kidnapped. That is all that happens the whole trip. And then you get to see the moon flow, which is eh. It's just a bunch of water lilies, basically. There's nothing life-changing about that. So with that, we're going to save here. and wrap. So, Grown Geeks, thank you for checking that out. We just ran through the Jose Temple real quick, saw the highlights, then we're gonna get on the road to the moon flow. Majin Vegeta Brent, Throwback Thursday. Check us out. YouTube, Facebook, Anchor. You know the deal. Like, subscribe, let me know what I can do better in the comments. Thank you for checking out Throwback Thursday. 
Grown a geeks, grown a geeks, grown a geeks. Maja Vegeta Brent back here. We made it to the moon flow. We saw our cutscene with Vogamine. We uh, took care of that Aeon battle. Got a bonus where we can now upgrade our Aeons with uh, new abilities. We talked to Birana Yenke, who just talked more shit than was absolutely necessary. And then we came here to the moon flow. Uh, got lectured by all these merchants selling crappy gear. Waka and Tita's bonded over being immature. Lulu scolded us and Macon lectured us about the shoe puff, which I will show you. Seems kind of rude not to. That right there is a shoe puff, the big old blue thing there. And the Hypello are the blue guys on the ground next to him. Um, the shoe puff is the mode of transportation across the moon flow over to Guado Salam. The slash on the back right leg of that shoe puff is from your daddy Jacked. He was drunk, struck it, and gave it a severe scar. So, uh, yeah, quite the reputation to live up to. But what we're gonna do is make sure both your characters, Waka, and Titus are both in Warrior Overdrives, and they are both ready for a battle. Boss battle. The ominous warnings from the other Guardians and Biron and K. Summoners disappearing. Will it ours be next? We will find out. We talk to this guy. They talk weird. I don't know why, but I'm ready. Let's go for it. In we go. We're gonna go on our little journey here. Pop launching. Let's get this party started. Everyone is kicking back as we go across the Moonflow South Bank to the Moonflow North Bank. Hey. <laughs> huh? Take a look. What? Whoa! And they're gonna show you what they're freaking out about. A sunken city. Atlantis. A machina city, a thousand years old. They built the city on top of bridges across a river. <laughs> but the weight of the city caused the bridges to collapse, and it all sank to the bottom. Build better, folks. Right, it's a good lesson. Yeah, lesson? It's infrastructure. Yeah. Why build a city over a river, yeah? Because you can. Uh, well, it would be convenient with all that water there. That would make sense. No, that's not why. They just wanted to prove they could defy the laws of nature. Hmm? Mother Nature is I'm almost not undefeated. I'm so sure about that. Yevon has taught us. When humans have power, they seek to use it. If you don't stop them, they go too far, yeah? Or just use your power responsibly. I mean, I feel like that's another self-explanatory lesson. Yeah, but don't you use Machina too? Like the stadium and stuff, right? Yevon, it decides which Machina we may use. Yeah, how do you talk to God is what not. I want to know. So what kind of Machina may we not use then? Remember Operation Meehan? That kind. How could I forget it was a day ago? Or war will rage again. War? Yeah. More than a thousand years ago. Mankind waged war using Machina to kill. They kept building more and more powerful Machina. Does that ring a bell? They made weapons so powerful, it was thought they could destroy the entire world. The hmm. people feared that Spira would be destroyed. Funny how that worked. But the war did not stop. Wh what happened then? Batman. Sin came, and it destroyed the cities and their Machina. The yeah. war ended. And our reward was sin. So, sin's our punishment for letting things get out of hand, eh? You're kind of showing you, like, what could happen in today's Man, society is what they're trying to get rough. at. Lying equipment too much, yeah, you, you know. But it's not like the Machina are bad. It's just machine. Only as bad as their users. There it is. It's because of people like the Albed screwing everything up. Racism. So terrible. <laughs> what could that be? Here is the fun part. Sit down. Sorry. I'm oh man, there goes the Yuna with the mistake. Yep, yeah, Albed trying to kidnap Yuna again. 
All in a day's work. This thing is a pain. Funny thing, you only got two party members that know how to swim. So, that's exciting. She's got a little force field around her. She can't do anything to help you. It nullifies your magic. So we're gonna do haste on the guy who casts haste. And you, I'm gonna hit it with what you got. I am awful at that. I've not gotten a single one right thus far. Still got a 900 out of it though. So, and then Aqua Shooter. It's gonna shoot blitz balls at you. Oh, no, that's a missile. That is not a blitz ball. Oh, Haze Walker. Um, I don't know if you can use darkness on it, but it's worth a shot. Yeah, it's immune, it's a robot. Oh. Aqua Shooter again. Ow. Spiral Cut. Oh, perfect. Nice 890. Another 214. Wanna lay your attack. Hit you again. That's how Waka's almost ready back in overdrive. Ooh, I forgot about that move. It goes all the way up there. Ready, death charges. We'll just make sure you don't get that turn. Ooh, with a critical, yeah, that's gonna happen. And now I got two hits in. It's on fire underwater. Don't read into that too much. And one more hit, and this is over. Thanks for coming out. Appreciate your service. And I feel like all the electrical currents being shot underwater while you're underwater would be a huge no-no, but spontaneous combustion, I guess, right there. Blows up. Where's Yuna? No levels up. Ooh, two Mega Phoenixes is and some gill. Very nice. We rescued Yuna. That's how we do it. Are you hurt? You guys are useless. Uh, no, I'm fine. Oh. Oh. Ah, those outbed. Is everybody okay? No thanks to you. I I'm sorry. We're all okay now. Yuna. Uh, <laughs> shoot a full speed ahead. Or given the business. Like, sit the hell down. Did you not just learn from our lesson here? Stop messing around. Damn the outbed. What do they want from us? Could it have something to do with Luca? Unlikely. What do they have the uniform? Wait. They're mad they lost the tournament. That'd be oh, petty. Wait. They're mad about Operation Meehan. You know, I sent most of them. Didn't Kamari's clansmen say something about summoners disappearing? There it is. Ah, so the out better behind that. Those sand plastic grease monkeys. We Grona Geeks do not support racism from Waka. Or of any kind, really, so don't do that. Hey, Waka. It's no use complaining about the owl bed now, right? We'll protect Yuna from anyone, anywhere. It's that easy. That's all I need to know. Just do your job well, and you don't have problems. I guess so. You're right. <laughs> the one time Lulu will tell you that. And she's just thankful that racism has stopped. Let's go. Get to that north side. Um, everyone surrounding her, talk to Kimari. Fail as guardian on Shubov. Kimari never fail again. Technically, you failed Luca and here, but that's fine. That's ominous, but anyway, we'll head up here. All they do is, like, basically... They're fanboying. Looks talk like to we're her. stuck here for a while. Might be more out bed. Keep watch, yeah? Everyone looks pretty normal to me. Um... 
save. Well, not save, I'm just gonna touch it. Move on. Yep. You should probably work on that a while ago. Albed Sphere here. Yeah. Shoe Puff sleeping is just their way of saying you can't go back. <laughs> she gets screwed over by Waka. Oh, Waka, at your service. He's only got items, none of which are uber important. I'm just gonna pick up six of those because I'm here. Talk to Warren. Guard Yuna. I don't know why you're telling me that. It's two doing it. Sin took my daughter, saw her again first time in five years. In Guadalcalam. Notice the taken part and just saw her. Worth noting. Um Miyu is a blitzball player, not a very good one. Uh, these are the Guado. They are huge fans of her as well. If they're wearing armor like this, they're the uh, Guado Warriors. They uh, they mean business, so uh, tread carefully. Let's carry on with our mission. We're going to head this way. And we're going to find this. She looks kind of familiar, right? Like from the beginning of the game, You're familiar? Not dead. Uh, uh? <coughs> 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 Sorry about that. Uh? Water down the rock pipe. Uh. Huh? Also, every dude's reaction when a woman's just getting undressed is, "Ooh." That is your green-eyed girl. Riku! You're Riku! Uh, hey! Uh, you're okay! How you been? <laughs> Terrible. Weird reunion, right? Yeah, you don't look so good. What happened? You beat me up, remember? No, uh, I don't. <laughs> oh! That Machina? That was you? Oh, that really hurt, you know. You big meanie. I don't know how you get hurt, like, inside Wait, of a robot. Wait, but you attacked right. Nuh-uh, it's not exactly what you think. It never is. Oh. Walking now sees you guys for the first time, because everyone finally got Yuna out of there. Friend of yours. Oh, uh, yeah. You could say that. Pleased to meet ya. I'm Riku. Yuna, Lulu, I told you about her, remember? She was told them but not I was washed up on Besaid. She's an Sitting out bad. Bad. <laughs> Don't want to tell Waka. Wow, mm. so you like all your life. What luck meeting here, huh? Markham completely missed it. Cuz he is a blockhead. Not much going so, on upstairs. Uh, Riku, you look a little beat up. You okay? Uh, Waka. Huh? What? There's something Missed it. we need to discuss. Oh, go ahead. <laughs> Not you. Girls only. Boys, please wait over there. Right. Sorry, Waka. I love how they figured it out <gasps> real quick. <What? laughs> he has no idea what's going on. And that's kind of like her hand motion. It's what she does in si certain situations. Sir Oren? Ask the chaperone. Like Riku to be my guardian. Can I have her over for a sleepover? Show me your face. Huh? Look at me. <laughs> oh, Orin's like, okay. I can figure out who you are just by staring at you. Open your eyes. As She's got I an hour to eyes. Um, no good? Are you certain? A hundred percent. So, anyway, can I? Oh, everyone's got to ask Orin. Wishes it. Yes, I do. <laughs> Riku's a good girl. She helped me a bunch. And now your party has grown again. Again. Well, I'm for it. The more the merrier. Cause you don't know. Righto. 
then I'll just have to be the merriest. It was strange. Even though Waka had always hated the Albed. Riku, at your service. It's he never to realized her. Riku was one of them. No. Doesn't realize is not a damn thing, because you know. That's just how Waka is. Um, Riku basically gets a crap ton of HP off the bat. So be sure to use your abilities accordingly to get her up to par with the rest of your party. She's one of the weaker characters, but her ability is super useful. Ooh, a treasure chest! I wonder what's inside. Treasure chest, you use special ability steal, you can open the treasure chest. You attack it, you destroy it. So, boop! We've got two bomb cores. Yay! Just like that. And then one of these bad boys. You should know. I'm scary when I get mad. Yeah. I'm gonna use that item I just got on you. You'll be sorry. Her overdrive is mixed. She can put two items together and make something super strong. It suggests the two bomb cores, so we are just gonna follow instructions, because why not? You mix them together, it creates this. Look at that. That is 4,000 damage. Right there. What, what did you just do? That was great! I can combine items and use them like this. Yeah. It's not that tough, really. She can be like a little mini tank if you upgrade her properly. It's just getting the point to be able to do that. Kind of painful. So, uh, be careful about that. Uh, treasure chest here. Be sure to collect that. Four antidotes. Do, 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 do. Alright, on to the next area. We are almost at Guadalcanal. That is Guadalcanal right up there. Yeah, you know, this road you will fight fiends on the way. Uh, keep Riku for chess. Go go go! Waka for you. Steal that. Oh, mega potion. That's actually really helpful. Um, if he doesn't have an overdrive, but I'll worry about that later. Let's see if you can hit. This oh. goes. Ah, yep, swing and a miss. Mark will be the finisher. I'm gonna steal from you. Because I wanted a poison fang. Oh, he missed again. Way to be consistent. Meh, nah, Walker finishes. Oh well. Got some speed spheres. Not a whole lot to do on this road. It's pretty dang straightforward. I mean, it is literally straight. Uh, um, steal from Ochu. A remedy. Makes sense. Sleep attack. Did not work. Oof. Riku did her thing, so we're gonna get you out here. Seventeen hundred. Very nice. Orin. Let's try sleep attack again. This time it works. Ochu misses his turn. Swap you out for Kamari. We get six hundred. Put another 17. Go to Yuna. We'll get Efree and we'll finish this off. Summoning is basically just a cheap way of working around the system, but just doing it more efficiently. So, always happy about that. So this is how we do it. Uh, Lord Ochu, or well, this is just a regular Ochu. It's weak to fire, so. Keep that in mind. Smack him, and we're gonna finish it. Thanks for coming out. Mm. 
Riku and Yuna level up. Riku is really easy to level up. It's just a lot of grinding. And usually by the time I'm here in the game, I'm not trying to grind all that much. But see, lose one step. Another 200 HP. Three more on the agility. Riku is now almost got 900 for the HP. Uh, Riku's got basic gear, no abilities, so not a lot going on there. Grab this chest. Uh, Riku's gonna do that. Take that. Go! Switch over. Make sure she's fine. Swing and a miss. We got an antidote. I get Orm back out. Just like that. Clear it up. No I'm problem. Good, yeah? Treasure chest. Mega potion. And now you're here, Guado Salam. Check out every nook and cranny over here. I think there's a chest somewhere. Nope. I was wrong. Uh, stay out here if you want to level your characters. If not, go on Guado Salam. No fiends in there. Multi layered town. We have been expecting you, Lady Yuna. Welcome to Guado Salam. Thank this you, way, thank you, lady. thank you. This way. Uh, uh, me? Yeah, no touching. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, uh, I beg your pardon. I am called Trommel Guado. I am in the direct service of our leader, the great Seymour Guado. Of Lord course. Seymour has very important business with Lady Yuna. I feel like you just made that up. Business with me? Whatever could it be, I wonder? Uh, Please, I've got ideas. Come inside the manor. All will be explained. Of course, your friends are also welcome. Guardians. We don't know you like that. Twist our arms, why don't you? Ah, I almost forgot. Riku's other ability. Riku can customize weapons to armor. Something like this Baroque sword, which I do not own. If you have an empty slot, you can upgrade it. If it's closed, you can't do anything. Worth it. Based on the pawn you have, decide what you can up with. So. Be sure to steal plenty of useful items or buy plenty of items that will suffice for powering up your party the way you want them to. What would you do without me? Nah, uh, we were fine before you. We'll be fine if we'd end up losing you at any point. But you can go down to customize. You can like make her claw have a sensor or distill stuff or make her stronger. Um, use X potions to make more HP, elixirs for other HP. So yeah, it's uh, pretty interesting what they can do with certain gear. Because I held on to a lot of stuff so I could, you know, do things like this. Not a sleep touch. 
power up the strength. And a sensor makes it pretty cool. And I don't have anything super useful, so it's not going to be anything too crazy. Uh, go down here if you want to go to the inn. There you'll see a Blitzball player for a place for the Guado Goalies. No, Guado, he's their goalie. Here's Macon. Care to hear about the far plane or the pyre flies? Let's hear about the far plane first. Ahem. The far plane is the place where pyre flies born from ascending gather. More unisense, everybody. They appear in the shape of people who died and gone to the far plane. Quite the phenomenon. How I wish I understood it more fully. The owl bed have a theory, you know. They you should say do. the pyre flies are just reacting to visitors' thoughts and dreams. Whatever you think about shows up. appear on the far plane. No image of the living has ever been seen. That'd be hella weird if it's it did, though. It's a great though. mystery, but maybe, maybe the dead leave a bit of themselves in the hearts of the living. And that little bit borrows the Pyrefly's power for their paranormal performance. Yeah, basically ghost maybe not flies. And that, as they say, is that. Thank you. Next lesson. Can't you hear about the... The Pyreflies. Ahem. They may be called pyreflies, but they aren't really flies, you see. Say more. There are those lights you see whenever a fiend dies. I put plenty the in here. fellows are responsible for a few fantastic phenomena. Visions of the past, spheres, fiends, these are all the pyreflies doing. <coughs> in fact, they're very busy the creatures. Pyreflies have something to do with aeons, too. The dreams of the faith reach through the spirit of the summoner. And that which is unreal becomes real for all to see. Very nice. Or maybe not. Who knows? <laughs> and that, as they say, is that. Kind of hard to be an expert when we're like, well, it doesn't really matter anyway. Now you can rest. Don't really care for it. Uh, talk to her. She doesn't do anything. The uh, Guado hate the Albed also. Shalinda's here. Oh, how fair you, Sir Guardian. It seems that Maester Seymour has returned to Guado Salon. I know, I just got some to his house. He's young, but he deserves our respect. I guess. Um, you can save here if you feel like it. Um, we're going to do some exploring before we get closer to the wrap portion of the video. Um, that's his house. You know, dead center of town, hard to miss. I'm going to do some exploring. Get me my treasure chest. Um, the guy running around here plays for the Albed. He's a nap, Guado. He's okay. Um, the uh, the Guado are amazing swimmers, so they are great blitzball players, and they're very fast. This is Gear Guado. He's their best player, as you can tell by the thousand gil for him. Uh, every Guado is a warrior and a mage, and they're good at blitzball. What can't they do? Uh, this guy is Yuma Guado. He is the only Guado free agent, and they're not very useful. The Guado have their old tongue and new tongue, so they can... I'll just show you. Thou seemst very good traveler. Wouldst thou sit and rest thy feet a while? Ah, uh, belike my speech perplexes thee. Tis old Guado I speak, a tongue seldom heard within even Guado Salam now. Basically, it's like old English, so I mean, it's not a lost language, but it's more or less useless in today's nowadays. Um, this is the weapon shop. You can tell because of the fancy sword and arrow, and arrow right there. We're gonna head inside, take a look, see if they've got anything for me. A walk of, of course, made his way in here. Oh. Let's talk with him. I'll tell you, these Guado merchants are shrewd. Ripping off the pilgrims, they come to visit the fire plane. Mm. Listen, you watch that they don't get you too. You just ripped everyone off in Operation Me Hand. Yeah. All in a guado, at least. What do you say? I see what you got. See if your talk is worth the hype. Uh, that I can upgrade. That I can upgrade. Lightning Ward is super helpful moving forward. I'm not going to purchase any because I want some difficulty to be in the game. But if you can 
purchase as much of it as possible. The next stretch after here is called the Thunder Plains. And it is literally lightning creature after lightning creature after lightning creature. And they take zero prisoners. So, be prepared. But see, look how much I raised the price on that just by adding those abilities. I can sell that. And we're going to go to Customize. We're going to the newly bought items I have, if I could move slowly enough to find it. Got HP plus 5. And we're going to add Defense on top of it, because I can. Piercing Strength plus 5. I could add a Sensor to it, or more Strength. So now it's an 8 plus damage, which is very useful. The Devastator. I can add Strength. Um, still Ability. I'm gonna do that, because the Eight Claw sounds super helpful. I need more Ability Spheres, so, and you can never really have enough of those. So some of the items that you will be investing in will come back immediately and pay for. Uh, talk to you. Yeah, the maesters basically get guardians, so that's... Goes to show you how important they can be. That's helpful. Already did that, already did that. See, they sell largely the same thing. Um... Do, 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 do. Where did I put it? Kinda wish it would just show you what you just unequipped, so you can be aware of, like, what exactly is the last... Yeah, you know, rune mog, that's what I had. It's making sure your party stays up to date on your items. Very useful. The variable. The blue, the purple little pointer arrow is what's currently equipped, so pay attention to that. Helpful. Now, a plus 8 for percent magic. Very good for Lulu, because she can now start... 8% 8 8 more damage, not like 8 times, but 8% more damage. Um, go over here, there's another little shop, a little nook cranny. Um, there's an Albed Primer in here, although they hate the Albed, so that part always confused me. And she's assuming you're racist, so that's kind of cool. Um, this guy just said they are the supreme race of Spira, and they're better than the Ronso. But uh, you guys should probably not do that. Zazy Guado, he's a great Blitzball player. He plays for the Guado. But he's all about money. He's not. He's more New Age Guado. Like Seymour esque, but not, you know, Seymour. Um, this is Pa. He's a decent defender. <laughs> he uh, really likes you and respects you, so that's kind of cool. Because, I mean,. You just notice your performance in the tournament and wants to be your fan. Um, there's a treasure chest right here. Is this Otto? Yeah, it's Otto Guado. They just recently embraced Yevon. There was originally some issue with their religion pertaining to that. Uh, the Far Plains up here... They won't let you in at this time, but if... Another part of our story will commence in there, so be ready for that. Um, let's see, we're at 33 minutes. The next part is rather lengthy, so we're gonna run back inside. We're gonna save, we'll wrap up, and then we will get going once more. On this episode of Throwback Thursday, Majin Bedita. We have made it across the moon flow and into Guado Salam. Thank you for checking out the video. Make sure to drop a like. Make sure to drop a subscribe if you aren't currently subscribed to Grown A Geeks. And be sure to comment what you like about the videos, what you don't like, so I can make them better moving forward. Thank you for checking out Throwback Thursday on Grown A Geeks.